So here we are today on the third floor of a shopping mall in the lovely Jakarta, Indonesia. Outside is about 35, 36 degrees. And we're up here on the third floor. So naturally, on the third floor of a shopping mall in Jakarta, what do you do? What would you do? Well, what I would do is go watch an ice hockey game. So today we are cheering on the Batavia Demons because we reached out to them. Oh, look at the arena. Yo, this is a brand new arena. Oh, oh, oh. oh Batavia Demons versus the Jakarta Dragons. So we've got some ice here. This looks to be a full-size hockey arena. I will admit, I will admit, the ice looks terrible. Listen, it's really hot outside. It's hard to keep good ice. Although, as we know, when the Olympic hockey is being played in some of these countries that host the Olympics, they bring in Canadians to make the ice. So my uh, ice uh, standards are very high, but the ice looks watery and divots and that's not the point. The point is this, we're watching the Batavia Demons. We're gonna interview some players. We're gonna talk to whoever we can. I'm so excited for this. Wow. I feel like they built this whole arena just for me. <laughs> I didn't know this existed and then we reached out on Instagram to a hockey team and here we are, uh, full on hockey arena. Look at the ice. It looks, it looks like Jakarta ice, baby. No problem, staying positive. Oh, we got kids out there with hockey equipment on. We got a Montreal Canadiens jersey, number 41. This is actually a goalie jersey. Wow. Yaroslav Halak. As you guys know, I was a goalie. I should say am a goalie. Oh, that was bad. I just admitted I quit. No, no, I am a goalie. But uh, we've got a full-on hockey arena on the third floor of a Jakarta Mall. The best. Hey! Yeah, cool. <laughs> Oh, this is the greatest day ever. <laughs> awesome. All right, next stop, uh, the hockey vlog here in Jakarta. Woo, yeah, the kids are cool. Oh, so cool. Good, good, good. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Good, good. We got figure skaters and hockey players alike. You should be a hockey coach. I should be a hockey coach in Jakarta. Yeah. Good, good. Good. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, guys. Uh, best. Best. Go practice. Practice. Your parents are going to be mad. Your parents paid for you to play and you spent all day on the boards with the Canadian with the GoPro. Okay. The hockey vlog continues. Let's go. I tell you what. Some of these figure skaters are really good. And so it's been quite enjoyable watching the figure skaters. Hey, buddy. But it is hockey time. Now, I just met with a guy named Leonardo who runs the Batavia Demons Instagram page. That's where I reached out. And so he told me this is the only hockey arena that's proper and you can play hockey on in all of Jakarta. There are a few other pads, but it's just for figure skating and stuff. And you can see everybody changes in public, which is different than Canada. So all the players are getting ready here because tonight we've got the Batavia Demons versus the Dragons. Now, what's interesting is there's four teams in the league. It's an adult league. And one of the teams, which is the Dragons, uh, is all expats. So I was so hoping the expats goalie was, was not feeling good and his gear happened to fit me and here I am and I can play, but it's not gonna happen. But it is interesting that uh, it's the expats versus the Indonesians tonight. We've got the ex yes, the expats oh. versus the locals tonight. Interesting. So I'm a bit torn. Obviously I wanna cheer for the Batavia Demons. But there might be some Canadians out there I could be cheering for. No, <laughs> Batavia Demons. No, no. just kidding. Uh, Batavia Demons for sure. And if you believe it, they've actually got trophies and everything. So it's a proper adult league. I'm guessing same like uh, the league I play in Canada. It's a bunch of adults. You put your money in, you play for 10 or 12 weeks, hmm. maybe three months, four months, and then you crown a winner. <laughs> all right. It's amazing. And so this is all very familiar to me. This is what we call men's league in Canada. Although interesting that all the guys change in public. So if you see anything you're not supposed to see, maybe I'll put some blurry footage behind me as the guys are uh, suiting up. And what's even more unbelievable is they've got a proper camera and they broadcast all of their games on YouTube. 
So if you are a hockey fan in Jakarta, you can watch every game. I think it's every Thursday in this arena. Uh, they they film it and they stream it on YouTube. And so, what could be better than that? Here's my buddy. Oh, wipe out. Okay. Okay. There's my buddy there. Okay, with that, uh, we'll watch the game. I'm not sure Ivana wants to stay for the whole game, but I do. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll see what happens next. But already, this is a successful vlog for me. This might be the least viewed vlog on our old channel. Maybe nobody cares about hockey but me, but I really did not think there would be a proper hockey arena in all of Jakarta. Never mind four teams that actually play and broadcast their games on YouTube and have trophies and everything. Uh, Steve was very, 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 very excited. Very excited to see this. Now, maybe the guys are just a bunch of ankle benders. I don't know if they're any good. But we'll see, uh, we'll see the quality of the hockey. Either way, uh, it's got to be hard being a hockey player in a country where there's like no hockey players. Oh yeah. So these are these are the best hockey players in the city. I think if you live here, you would join the other team, no? The expat team for, for if sure. If I lived here, I would love to play hockey once a week with the boys. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. The thing about hockey is because you got so much gear, right? So I was actually a goalie, like this guy over here. We'll give him some privacy as he's changing. But because you got so much gear like this, it takes you about half an hour to put it on, maybe 20 minutes. And so usually in Canada, what you do is you chill with your friends for 20 minutes before the game, put all your gear on, and then when the game's over, you take it all off really slowly. And it's like, it's a sport, but it's also a weekly ritual with the boys. <laughs> the change room is often better than the game. It's just more fun to see your friends once a week. You gotta chill. Plus you get bruised up, you get injured, and you're all <laughs> taking your gear off together there, and you're like, oh mm, man, you know? True, uh, true, true, true. So anyway, with that, let's watch the game, and then maybe we'll wrap up the vlog. Best day in Jakarta. Wow. All right, introducing Brendan. Yes. The captain of the team. Yes. Getting ready because the ice is just getting flooded by the yep. Zamboni. So we've got a few minutes with the captain. So I'm from Canada. I've been playing hockey since I could walk, let's say. Okay. But I'm amazed there's hockey in Jakarta. <laughs> so my questions for you are all very ignorant. Okay. Like, how did you get started playing hockey? Um, actually, uh, there's a there's a pretty big expat community, expat community in Indonesia. Okay. And I'm I'm actually from Taiwan. Oh, okay. And I'm here to work. I've been here for three years, and oh. I I met uh, some pretty influential people in the in the hockey community here and I had a chance to come join and then now we have a lead so Fantastic. I'm pretty grateful that I get to play. So you're on Batavia Demons or you're on Dragons? I'm on the Batavia Demons actually. Okay yeah. so you're faking as a local? Yes. Because the Demons is all the expats? <laughs> yes. But you're on the uh, or sorry the Dragons is all the expats. Right well on the Demons we have a couple of expats as well we have Japanese we have a Japanese player. Okay. Uh, we have a Russian player. Fantastic. An ex-professional player. Wow. So it's gonna be, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, where do you guys buy hockey equipment? Is there hockey stores or you gotta buy online? We buy it online every now and then. There are a couple of expats who come back from from the U.S. or Canada, and we just ask them, hey, can you <laughs> can you bring some stuff back for us? Amazing. Otherwise. Um, we can. Uh, there's actually a local store here. If if there's a bulk order, we can get we can get equipment at a pretty at a relatively better price. Fair. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Okay, favorite hockey player, favorite hockey team. I'm a Vancouver Canucks fan. Vancouver I used, Canucks. Yeah, I, I know you're a Maple Leafs fan, right? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I I actually uh, I grew up in. I, I studied in Taiwan for most of my life, but when I was younger, I lived in Vancouver for five years. Uh, that's where actually, where I uh, started skating. Oh, okay. I used to rollerblade to school. I used to go ice skating for fun. I never really played ice hockey there, but since there's the professional team there, so I got early exposure and I, I really like the Vancouver Canucks. I love that Canadian connection here yeah. in Jakarta. <laughs> All right, thanks dude. Good luck. Thank and you. Thank uh, you very much. What number are you? Uh, number 71. I'll look for you. Number okay. 71. Thank you. Boom. There you have it, guys. So the Dragons is all expats. The Demons is all locals. But the captain of the Demons is from Taiwan. He's local-ish, let's say. Boom. Okay, we're cheering for the Demons today. We're cheering for number 71, our buddy Brandon. Let's go maybe up there. We do need to find some popcorn. If you're not eating <laughs> popcorn, you're not watching hockey. So we'll look for popcorn and we'll uh, 
watch the game. Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. So I'm not even sure the score. I think it's like 4-4 already, but don't get confused. Both of these goalies are very good. We have yeah. seen big saves at both ends from both goalies. So I'm really amazed the hockey has been end-to-end -end scoring chance for scoring chance because the ice is very slow and I figured out why. It's not cold in here. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So there's nothing you can do. You can hear the players skate fighting through the slow ice, but the hockey is fast despite the slow ice. Now, it's not the best seating arrangement to watch the game. We've got a bit of a wall here, so we can't really see this corner in here, but uh, big saves left and right, and a little bit of chippiness here. A little bit of, hey, hey, mind your business. Keep it moving, how you doing, as we say in hockey. So, I'd like to ask you one question. A fight. Nah, not a fight, just a little bit of hockey over here. That's a little bit of hockey. All right. Yeah, that's a little bit of hockey happening. <laughs> a that's a little bit of hockey. Okay. So, I've never actually seen myself play from this angle. Uh-huh. Well, you have. Yes. Because uh, I played in a men's league just like this in Canada once a week. Yeah. Would it be competitive, my team versus their team? I think it would be pretty I think close. So. They're actually pretty good. Quite good players. Pretty good. They're pretty good. Like the game is pretty exciting so far. It's not like a boring game. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. And your team maybe just like a slightly better, but they're pretty good. Competitive. Yes. It would be a competitive game. Yes, I think so. Which is really something yeah. to say because in Canada, uh, all of my friends play hockey and we're all the same age and we're all the same skill level. Whereas these guys are older, younger, different everything. It's kind of a mis mishmash bunch, but they are good players and it is good hockey and fun to watch. So I'd like to end this vlog by talking about why you should play hockey. Nice save, buddy. This guy here is really good on his feet. This goalie is, he moves around very well. Uh, why you should play hockey if you're an Indonesian parent wondering what sport to play for your child, to put your child in. First things first, come down here every Thursday and watch the game. Your kid will love it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put it this way. There's nothing worse than a grown adult pretending to be injured when they're not. I'm talking about soccer. So listen, in hockey, it would be a shameful act to pretend you're injured because there's a there's a natural uh, camaraderie to the boys, some sort of integrity because it's a little rough like we saw. So the fact that you might actually get injured adds a layer of integrity to the game and there's a camaraderie. There are relationships you develop with your teammates that are unlike any other relationships because you're kind of going to war with them every week. Wow. There's a, a brotherhood of hockey players no better sport to play. You've probably heard the phrase, never <laughs> doubt that a small group of incredibly hardworking people can change the world. In fact, it is the only thing that ever has. There's no better way to prepare your child for that reality of working in small teams than being on a hockey team. Play hockey, best sport in the world. Okay, thanks for watching our vlog. I am super excited. We'll probably stay here for the end of the game and see who wins. It's a great game, end to end. Cannot say enough about these guys on the ice. Working hard, playing hard. Let's see if we can end it on one quick two on one. Batavia Demons, two on one. Sauce pass, picks it up. Loose puck in the slot. Ah, dump it down. There you have it, guys. Okay, better luck on the next drive. Oh! Hockey's the best sport to watch. Okay, see you guys later.